got the dot ready from them. Very exciting. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give them the countdown now, and we'll get this on the go. All right. So we got three, two, one, go. Right on. I gave them the chat countdown. There's going to be a little bit of delay. And they are ready. We are going to be using Teeks's audio. His audio is a little bit better in terms of volume. So this is still going to be your average speed run, right? They're still trying to go as fast as possible in the warpless manner, but they need to generate points because at the end of the day, it's about the points. All right, so it looks like we got the first level down. Always the scariest level, okay? Let me just double check and see for... So we have... We have a slight delay, so I think I'm going to react to the uh, the stream uh, playback. Let me know if that is much better for you guys, okay? Let me know if that's much better. So, they... They just exit level 2. Okay, so it looks like... Based on Hammer Brother movements, it looks like Supersonic is in the lead with time, but who is going to get the tunnel? That's going to be the question. Get your MFP tunnels ready in chat, everyone. Get your MFP tunnel. Ooh! Super Sonic getting the fast fly teaks. Not so much. Oh boy. This could be a pretty... That's like a six second time loss right there. It is about... Po okay, here we go. Here we go. We got the first tunnel. Let's go. All right. Keep your eyes on Super Sonic right now, guys. Let's see if he gets his first point. Well, I guess 0.5. He's taking it a little slow. He knows he needs to get the tunnel here. Has he practiced it? He is not keeping P speed. No tunnel for Supersonic. That is okay. Look at Teeks' channel right now. Let's see if he gets the tunnel. Is Teeks going to get the tunnel? Oh, he didn't get the tunnel. No points awarded to either of them from the first world. That's okay. It's okay. Lots more points to come. If you guys need to know what points are issued in what world, type exclamation SMB3. There will be links there for everything, guys. The brackets, the schedules, the points, everything you need to know. Right on. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so it looks like Teeks has taken the lead in terms of time strictly based on uh, Supersonic's 1-5. Very unfortunate. Not much he can do about it, but it's okay. It's There's so much more that can happen. Uh, I will not be scrolling so that you guys can see World 8 because, it, well, I guess it'll cover... Wait until after World 2 and then I can scroll down. When we hit World 3, I can scroll down, okay? So right now... Um, the runners actually have no deaths. Neither of them have died. So they both technically have one point right now because they haven't died. It's, it, you unclick it when they do die is essentially how it goes. <laughs> All right. So here we go. First World 1 airship. We have made a couple changes in the past few days. At least I have with the points. So yeah, we're... we're Let's see if we get early hammer here, and then somebody just totally gets screwed. Yes, both participants did not acquire the 0.5 um, reward for getting the tunnel jump. However, neither of them died, so they both start with one point. So Teeks keeping the lead in terms of time right here. Actually looking pretty good. He looks like he's got a good chunk of time. Yeah, it looks like, uh, what would you guys say? I, about eight seconds lead? Okay. Entering World 2, there's two points. There's two point rewards that we can get in World 2. The first one is in 2-2, two, two, you have to enter the pipe with a 292. Well, I don't know if they're going to use stars or not. So I, I'm not going to keep them at the point five just yet. I'm going to wait until the end and confirm they didn't use any stars. So Teeks enters World 2 first. Right on. He's going to go for the speedrun strats. Uh, Supersonic does. He's very equipped with the speedrun strats himself. So hopefully he can keep up with Teeks in terms of the... Ooh. Okay. So that's very interesting. There is a points reward 
for keeping your power up all the way to world six. So Supersonic will not get that reward. All right, Teeks. Look at the timer. He needs to enter the pipe with a 292. Come on, 292. Get that 0.5. 293. 292. 291. Ooh, a 290. That's, that's ouch. So here comes Supersonic. He's going to go. 295. 294. Oh, he started running. Oh, he body rubbed. He will not be getting the reward for the 292 in the points. That is an ouchers. Whew, that is incredible. Okay, just give me one second here. Don't worry guys, I'm still here. I'm just getting I'm just getting the double check for help. There's always going to be a delay with this stuff, but um, with speed gaming's end, I want to make sure that I, I do the proper things to eliminate the delay. So I think I think what I could do quickly here is refresh the speed gaming site. I'm not really getting any any answers just yet, but we'll see. Speed gaming site. I'm not really getting any. Keep it down, Mitch. All right. So from my end, Teeks just finished the sand level. The Hammer Brothers just moved and he just entered level five. So just keep me up to date. If I go behind, I can always do a refresh. Yeah, keep it down, Mitch. Nobody wants to listen to your crap. So the next point that we're looking for from them is the fire kill on the boss in this world. Okay, uh, so let me, let me take a look at this then. Teeks just entered the pyramid. Okay, he just entered the pyramid. He just broke the block, he just killed the plant. How's that? Better? Okay, so I'm gonna watch their feed and I'm not gonna watch the speed, okay. Okay, we got it, nice, perfect. Nice, we, see, we get stuff done, guys. Okay, timing's perfect, let's go. We're back in. Okay, so what did we miss? It looks like Supersonic has taken some damage. That's okay. Again, like I said, Supersonic can get some crazy RNG. There's so many things that can happen in terms of points. We're only in the second world right now. And there's two games, guys. We got two games of this. If Supersonic died, then he does not get the reward and he loses 0.5. There you go. Sorry, a... Definitely don't want to miss those deaths. It's okay, we're, we're good. Teeks has not taken damage yet, which means there is a reward here in World 6 for keeping your first Fire Flower all the way to the end. Yes, you gotta watch out for those negative points. However, he is going to be issued a time slot at the very end. Uh, so we're on auto scroller, so we can scroll down here and you can still get issued time slots right here, okay? He can get a 54, he might get under an hour, they'll still get second place, right? So, there's still hope, there's still lots of things. However, Teeks is doing a very good job, but he's not rewarded any points. Okay, fire kill coming up. He he needs to get at least a 221 or higher on the in-game clock for this fire kill. Alright, so hopefully he gets that. Okay. So it looks like Supersonic kind of got unlucky uh, having to fight both Hammer Brothers, but it looks like he's he's back on track. He's entering the airship. He's about one airship behind, which is a big turn. Run okay, let's see what he gets here. 224, 223, 222, 221. He gets it. Congratulations, Teeks. He gets the 0.5 right there for that 221. Fantastic, dude. Fantastic job. Okay. 
There is another point coming up right away. Right away. He gets one point, or he gets 0.5 if he nails the single frame jump at the very beginning of 3-1. That'd be very exciting. I want to see. I want to see. Also, I've never seen anyone try and go for this Wendy point. Oh, we're in world three, so let's go ahead and give the scroll. So let's see if he gets the frame perfect jump right here. Right at the beginning of the level. If he jumps in the air, he gets this point. That's all he's got to do. You just got to jump in the air. Oh, he didn't get it. Too bad. Hey, guys, it's something as simple as a jump. No, this is the very first tournament, so there is no average points. This this will be the first season to add, uh, to give the most average points. How many points people can get per games? Minus points, plus points. Very exciting. Very first season. This is the very first game of the entire tournament. Ooh, Supersonic taking the damage. Not gonna get the fire kill. He was on the right track though. He was definitely on the right track. Now this is warpless. So we really need to watch out for the Runaway Bro. For anyone who doesn't know, if one of the Hammer Brothers runs past level 6, that is a very, very unfortunate thing to happen to you. That is a big time swing, and that means Supersonic could actually take the lead in terms of time. Something as simple as a jump. A single frame jump, that's about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and Teeks gets Runaway Bro instantly. That is going to be pretty rough. All right, keep your attention on Supersonic Stream right now. Let's see if he gets that 0.5 right here. He does not. All right, so we can scroll down now. All right. Ooh, Teak's messing up the Peace Speed Strat. That's going to be okay, though. It's going to be okay. He still hasn't lost the Fire Flower. There is a reward right here. World 6. If you get to World 6 and you do the damage boost on the spikes in the first fortress, you get three points for keeping the very first Fire Flower from the very beginning of the game. All the, that means you didn't take damage all the way until World 6. Big, big rewards. All right, Teeks is going to go for Door 3. Is he going to get it? No, oh, he didn't get the Door 3. Too bad. Man, these free points. They're just single frame inputs. What? You can't do them? Just kidding, guys. They're doing great. They're doing fantastic. So you might be saying, why isn't he going for Door 3 again? You only get one try to claim your points, unfortunately. Well, also fortunately, because you would just sit there and keep spamming and getting points, right? This is still a speedrun. We still got lots of work to do here. All right, fantastic. So Teeks is, he's going to try and skip the bros. This is actually a very good idea on his end. This is a very good idea. Um, he could get bit in the butt here, but at least he doesn't have to worry about runaway. It looks like Supersonic's doing pretty good with the Hammer Brothers as well. Right on, this is incredible. Both runners are doing fantastic. Okay. So it looks like, ooh, that is that is really good for Teeks. He doesn't have to fight either of the Hammer Brothers. That is really good. However, oh no, he still has the Hammer from World 2, so he should be fine. There is a point in World 4 to do the first Fortress, which is kind of against how Warpless works, but this is Warpless with points. We have object, okay. Supersonic going for door three. Keep your eyes on Supersonic stream. Is he going to get some points here? If he gets this, he's, he's suddenly not so far behind anymore. Oh, nice try. Dude, both runners are kicking themselves right now. They're saying, oh man, it's just an up input. How do I not get the door three? The door three is definitely tough to do. But he's, he's opting for door six. Hey, door six is only three times worse than door three, right? So we should be pretty good. No door three, unfortunately. All right, so Teeks is gonna be the next one up to opt for the new points, 0. 0.5. This Wendy point is brand new. It's something I added in to keep this uh, point system tournament really fresh in the early worlds. So what's gonna happen here is he has to kill Wendy at exactly 210 on his in-game timer, exactly. So keep an eye on that timer. However, the ultimatum is he has to do it when Wendy has all three of her rings out. So there's a lot of strategy here. Wait, what What math? What math didn't work? What's going on? 
What a, what a meme point. I know, dude, I know. Don't worry, don't worry about it. They're just point fives or fives. At the end of the game, we'll see what the points are. Don't worry about it, you guys. This is this is going great. I'm I'm having so much fun. I'm me I'm gonna mess up so much stuff because I'm having a lot of fun here. So Supersonic, he does not have to worry about the Runaway Bro, and if he wants to, he can skip the Fortress in World Four, not get that point. Hopefully, get a little bit of a lead. You have to remember, Teek Teeks is gonna take a lot of the timely points here. All right. Ooh, I'm nervous for Teeks right now. I haven't seen anyone try this points. I, I had to teach myself how to do the Wendy trick. All right, here we go. Exactly 210 on the timer and all three rings up. Let's go. Oh, he's not going for it. Okay. All right. I, maybe maybe he's wondering, you know, am I behind? Am, am I be ahead? I made sure okay, the runners are not allowed to watch each other because they will change up the strategies based on points. Um, I heard from Teeks earlier, uh, about a day, a day ago, maybe two days ago, he said he was very interested in the Wendy point. He does want it. Um, so I was surprised to see that he didn't go for it because he did tell me he was practiced and he did say, why wouldn't he go for, for it from here on out? So I am very surprised. Maybe he'll go for it in game two. I'm not very sure. Well, I, we're going to have to see. We're getting a little bit of lag on uh, Teeks' side there, but that's okay. Looks like it cleaned up. You know what? That might be it. He might be savoring because he does get points if he keeps this Fire Flower until World 6 damage boost. He's got to keep it. He takes damage. He's really going to beat himself up, which means he might not go for Jesus Clip. Yes. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Supersonic is going to try and go for the points? Um... On this Wendy. Do you think he's practiced? It is definitely something you need to practice. You cannot just go for it. If I was in Supersonic's position, I would say the points... Getting points are what's going to win it for him here. Getting points is definitely what's going to win it for him here. He can get... He can get some extra points. Alright, so... The first time we're in World 4 on this point system tournament, we have two points right now for us. He needs to get a 288 in the first fort, and he needs to make sure he does not get the Star Bro. If he gets the Star Bro in World 4, he loses 0. 0.5. That is a very, that is a very bad time. Supersonic is not opting for the 0. 0.5. Understandable. If you had not practiced it, you will not, you will not be getting points. Trust me, it will probably screw you over. Lots of points here, lots of different strategies, lots of different things that you can do to try and get these points. Also, this is my first time keeping track of points while commentating watch the race at the same time. So, let's go for that 288. Look at the timer, guys. He needs to get a 288. Is he gonna get a 288 or higher? It looks like it. Oh, he just got it. Congratulations to Teeks for the 288 awarded those points right there. Congratulations. However, he does not get rewarded for no inventory stars. He used an inventory star. He could, he does not get this point right here, but he did get the 288. Or it looks like it says ass. He got the ass point right on. There are definitely going to be underdogs in this tournament, so... Remember, there's so many different points for you to learn and strategize, okay? It's not all about who is the best and the fastest. It's all about who's going to strategically claim as many points as they can. All right? Okay, so Teeks, if he, he could get screwed over here by getting the Star Bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, is Teeks going to get Star Bro here? Let's find out. <gasps> Wait, is he going for Star Bro? Or is he going for P-Wing? Okay, he is safe. He is going for the P-Wing. Dude, very confused, man. Very, very confusing. This is, um... Because he still has this music box, right? He could put the Hammer Brothers to sleep, but does he want to waste it, right? There's there's other things that he could use. And I totally forgot which one was the P-Wing and which one wasn't. So he got me there for sure. Supersonic having a little bit trouble at the start of World 4, but again... He hasn't lost... Ooh, I was going to say he hasn't lost any points for dying, except for 
That one right there. Minus one, unfortunately. He's going to have to go for that 288 in the uh, World World 1 Fortress. And Teek's using the music box, so he does not get punished by getting the star from the Hammer Brother. He got the musher, or he got the... He got the cloud and he got the P-Wing, but you don't want to get the star. That's lost point. Ooh, yeah, he's so nervous because he hasn't lost his Fire Flower yet. He is so nervous because he hasn't lost his Fire Flower yet. Um, let me remind everyone that no match can go longer than one hour. They are always guaranteed to be under one hour. If you hit the one hour mark and you haven't finished, your run stops completely and you lose one point. All right? Time management. Incredible. Well, I mean, if you can make it from World 1 first Fire Flower all the way to World 6 without taking damage, I think that's worth the three points. All right, so... Let's go. Let's see. Okay, he's going to use the hammer. He's going to opt for traditional warpless routing. I don't blame him. Again, you have to remember, if you are not practiced with some of these points, they will not be a benefit to you at all. Uh, very good decision to go for that mushroom. However, if he does not catch it, it can... <gasps> go! Okay, he got it. Dude. I've been trolled like that before, man. You get the mushroom. If you don't get over there fast enough, that will go right off. Oh, taking damage again. So at this point, Super Sonic can actually do a lot of damage boosting strategies. He, he really doesn't have to worry about some of the rewards that he knows he can't get yet. Wait, you guys aren't having as much fun as me? You gotta have a good time. Yeah, I'd say music boxes. Ooh, does he know which Hammer Brother this is? Oh, the P-Wing. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see. He's probably gonna use the music box right here, right? That's... Ooh, not yet. Maybe he's gonna wait. Ooh, I'm waiting for somebody to misread the points and think that getting the star is a good idea. That That's gonna be epic, man. I hope, I hope at least one person in the tournament makes that mistake. That'll be awesome. Imagine losing, losing the cash prize because you didn't read the tracker. That would that'd be very unfortunate. All right. Supersonic making it through. He, all he's got left is the fortress. He's got the fortress. I wonder if he's trying to save. Oh, he got lucky there. He's getting boxless world four since when, dude? Teeks is doing some manips here to make sure he can get a nice fire. Ooh, oh, he loses it. Oh, he is not happy. He loses that reward. All he had to do is get through World 5. And he gets those points. Very unfortunate. But you want to know what's good? You want to know what's good news about that, guys? Is that Jesus Clip is worth three points. One try. You get one try for Jesus Clip. And you know he's going to go for it. We got a Jesus Clip, baby. Let's go. You hate to see it. Oh, Supersonic getting the star. That is a punishment right there. Minus five. Point five, of course. I don't want chat yelling at me, okay? You gotta go easy on me, chat. All right, so a lot of you know that World 5 has a brand new route. I took a vote with all the runners and said, do you guys want to just ban the new route? And the majority said yes. Not because it's too hard, not because of blah, 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 but only because it's just, it's so new that we can just add it in on season two. We're hoping to have a lot of seasons of this, maybe two seasons a year, cash prize, uh, open, open doors to anyone who can get sub one hour in Warpless. That's essentially what it is. It will be fantastic. Okay, so there was a minus 0.5 if you fell down the shaft of despair. The disappointing shaft. If you had fallen down there, you would lose 0.5. I've seen it before, guys. It is possible. It's something to keep that extra little bit of fear. Okay? So, we have to watch out for no movements of 4 in World 5. Has Teeks gotten a movement of 4 yet? He has not gotten a movement of 4 yet. So if Teeks gets no movements of four in World 5, he gets 0.5 points. That's pretty epic. Okay, making it clean through the fortress. Really got to pay attention to these movements here.
Why not one or two points instead of 0.5 and one? Uh, because it's the first tournament of its kind and we can shape and morph uh, for better comfort and make the points better as time goes on, essentially. Right now, there's really nothing wrong with having 0.5. The tracker seems to obviously work with 0.5. So as time goes, we can fix it and clean it up. You know, it takes time. We gotta, we gotta get through the buffer period, right? We gotta get through the, you know, what works and what doesn't. That was a movement of three. That was not a movement of four. Very close, though. Ooh, he's getting a little scared. Doesn't want to take damage there, right? We can multiply everything by two. Sure, guys, this is the first match, all right? Not not all the answers are going to be easily, you know, right there for us. We just got to gotta play it as it goes and, and then fix it as time goes. All right? So don't worry too much about it. It's not worth really overthinking. Luckily, 0.5s and 1s, they still work. Everything's okay. As long as... So, Teeks could get a movement of 4 and lose that point, but then Supersonic could not get movements of 4. Yeah, I gotta go strictly with chat's idea. I love it, I love it. I love all the ideas, man. I love all that you guys are into it. It's amazing. Let's keep the hype going. Get involved, man. I'm will I love taking advice from everyone. So Teex is going to go into the sky here. And we can see the Hammer Brother now. So now, luckily, instead of having to hear it, we can just watch for the movements of four. All right. Here we go. This level is very scary. Teex has not died yet. So he has not been punished. And he still gets the no-death reward. If he dies, he loses one and he loses 0.5. So that would mean he's only 0.5. That's it. Ah! <laughs> Supersonic falls down the shaft of despair. You hate to see it, dude. You hate to see it. That is the shaft of despair, ladies and gentlemen. The shaft of broken dreams. It looks like he might be used to it. He looks like he's got strats down there, man. I don't even I don't even think I've seen this part of the He's killing it. How is he doing so well? That is incredible. All right. Will we see Jesus Clip here, ladies and gentlemen? Are we gonna see Jesus Clip? Is this a replay? This is not a replay. Maybe he misread it, right? Maybe he misread it, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> All right, is he gonna go for Jesus Clip here? He needs the music box, he's already used one. Right? He used one in World 4, so he needs another one. He's not going for the Jesus clip! Remember, they don't know where each other are. Okay? They do not know where each other are. And I don't think Supersonic got a movement of 4. So thank oh that is true if he died from Jesus clip that would be a hefty loss from him because Teeks is doing great right now with a score of two so it looks like Teeks does not get any movements of four so he is awarded the additional 0.5 very fantastic we're gonna have to see where supersonics hammer brother is coming up right here by the looks of it right if like let's think what if Teeks gets all the hands and Supersonic gets none. Dude, that's a, that's a minute. All right, Supersonic is on his way to claim another 0.5 back. Teeks using the cloud, and he is out of there. Right on. Uh, exclamation SMB3 will give you all the information you need. Even the points, okay? There is a... Uh, there's how the points work and placements. If you click on that, you can read all the points on these trackers and, and everything in full description. All right. Supersonic, I think, is doing very well. He is definitely the underdog in this race. He is uh, he is a Mario 3 runner, but this is definitely new to him, and I, this is new to all the runners, so I think this is going great. Yeah, Teek's getting no hands twice. It's... Pretty easy to PB when you get no hands two times in one day. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Teeks is... Er, even Supersonic, man. He's just killing this World 5. He's going really fast. 
He might get his points here. If he goes for Jesus Clip, though, holy crap. I want him to go for it. He's already died. You're already down. You're, you know, you're already down. You're already hit. You're already, you're already hit. Oh, he dodged the movement of four. Oh, he almost got it. That is unfortunate. So that is another death. However, he did get no movements of four. Let's double check. Make sure he doesn't die here. If he dies here, he might move. I got my cursor. Okay, so he he redeemed 0.5. He didn't get any movements of four. That is fantastic. All right, on. So he only lost 0.5 because he had already died previously. These races are going to get out of control when it's like the semifinals and stuff. Like, it's even this is like crazy. So remember, guys, it is only two races. So Teeks does not get the reward for keeping his power up. However, he does have, in World 6, he's got 0.5 for wall jump first try. And he gets 1.5 for getting the floor clip in the third fortress. Also, keep in mind, guys, throughout various seasons of this, every season is going to uh, uh, it's gonna allot new points. Um, if you think of new points or points that we could add to this tournament, be patient because we can definitely add them in, in newer seasons, okay? I think there's so many, so many points and interesting ways that we can set this up. All right. If Teek sets a new world record, he gets the win for the entire tournament, and he just he wins first, second, and third place cash prize right there. It's going to be fantastic. I think there's lots of interesting points we can add into World Six and you know World Five, maybe a couple little points. World Four looks like it could use one or two points, but we don't want to overbear, you know. All right, so Supersonic is on the airship. Teeks is gonna go for the despawn. This this strat is very difficult. So let's let's watch, make sure he nails it. I think he'll do pretty good. All right, he got it. Not easy to do, ladies and gentlemen. Not easy. You have to work really hard. Hey, Supersonic's still on the airship. Still going. He's, it's out of his control, though, so he can't really do much. And did... Okay, so, Teeks here. Okay, so if the Hammer Brother moves up, Teeks loses some time here. Unfo Ooh. Very unfortunate. Oh, no! Oh, he got it! Oh, that was so scary. He almost died right there. And Teeks got lucky. Teeks did not have to fight the extra Hammer Brother there. That is an, an incredible time save on Teeks' part. You hate to see fighting the extra Amber Brother. There's so much room in World 6. So how do you fight it, man? There's so much room everywhere. This is incredible. Luckily, Supersonic makes his way out of this world. You ate to see it. Dude, that, that'll be it. Next. Next one, SD. All right, so Teeks is going to opt in for what he believes is to be a subpixel manipulation um Okay, he's been he's been learning some of the new ones, so he's still gonna try and go for wall jump first try. Oh, he's been learning! He knows. He did, however, run on an extra hill, unfortunately, so if he had done it perfectly, this won't work out for him. But he can still get lucky, it's still possible. Let's go. Alright, keep your eyes on Teeks. First try wall jump. Nailed the first try wall jump. Gets the point five right there for first try wall jump. He is happy. He is happy right now. Congratulations to the first try wall jump. So if he gets this clip in this level, he gets an additional 1.5. So keep your eyes on Teeks as well. Two points back to back. Is he going to go for it? 
No, I that that's a good play. He has not died yet, so he's not punished. He is not punished with the death. All right. Here goes Supersonic in 6-4. See if he gets the P-Speed here. No P-Speed. The P-Speed is very finicky. Even if you do it perfectly, you still might not get the P-Speed. Supersonic remembering his strats. Getting the speed boost there. That is very scary. Dude, you can get stuck on that spinner and, and it can throw you right into the ground. Very scary. Can who, uh, Teeks already used the star, so he already lost his, uh, no star inventory reward. Very fantastic. Looks like, ooh, Supersonic is gonna go for the fast ride. I wanna see him do this. That'll be very impressive. This is not easy. And you have to remember, Teeks' primary game is SMB3. Oh my gosh. Supersonic. Oh no! Oh boy, that is something you definitely hate to see. He got it and it was taken from him. That is an ouchers. You will never get hit by that nipper if you just run straight off the ledge. If you just run right off, you will never get hit by that nipper. See how he does the turn back there? You definitely do not want to do that turn back. Dude, he did. He played it perfectly, but got ouched. Ooh, Teeks. Not gonna optimally get in the pipe there because of that weight. Makes sense, though. Happens. Alright, he's gonna go for the subpixel manipulation. He moved a lot there. Maybe he'll get it. Maybe he'll get it. So, there is a point in World 7. Get 7 1 first try. Point 0.5. 7-6 first try, 0.5. 7-7 clip. However, luckily for 7-7, it's not even in the warpless route. You don't even do 7-7 in warpless, so if you go for it, you have as many tries as you want, but you're just gonna keep losing and losing time. I watched Zikubi lose his exhibition match because he went for the 7-7 point. It is a good point. I think sometimes it's a great point if you are already losing or something to gain the lead. All right, Teeks, first try. Oh, he didn't even get an attempt. You hate to see it, guys. You really do. You really hate to see that. That is unfortunate. He didn't even, like, we don't even know if his subpixel manipulation worked because he messed up his jump. Jumped a little too early. Supersonic, can, uh, wall jump as Big Mario is going to be risky. Ah, uh, not first try. But he's still going to want to go for it. He does have the extra P-Wing. There are some runners out there that don't know that wall jump as Big Mario is harder than it is with Small Mario. Small Mario is a little bit easier because Mario's small. He can really fit in those little crannies. Ooh, Teeks does not have a star. He is not menuing, managing very well there. If he's going to miss that, he's going to go for the fast 7-2. He does not get it. That is a big time loss for him. If Teeks was going to get up against someone like Haxer, Haxer would not have made a mistake like that or Zikubi. Um... The only way I know it's a mistake is because he went into his inventory to pick that star, but it was not there. Gotta keep track of inventory. But he did get the point for using the star in 6-8, but he's already used stars. Now, if I remember correctly, Supersonic has used stars, right? Yeah, he's got the extra P-Wings. I'm not sure why he didn't go for the P-Wings strategy there, right? He does have extra P-Wings. 13 try. Yeah, they both have used stars, yeah. Um, wait a minute, where did Supersonic use the star? I don't think he used the star yet. Yeah, yeah, Supersonic would want the point for the jump. However, the point is first try. Um, you have to make sure you read the, the points. Sonic has not used- you know what? I kind of think he didn't use the star. Thank you, guys. Yeah, he has not used the star. Oh, he went for the clip. That's a good idea, dude. That is a huge time save. All right, Teeks is up for his next point in World 7. First try clip in 7-6. Right here, he needs that. 
Well, actually, Supersonic needs all of these. He needs all of these. So let's see. Ooh, Supersonic taking another death. You hate to see it. Additional 0.5. So Teeks is going to go for the manipulation here. Try and get 7-6 first try. 7-6 has a little bit more leeway than 7-1. So it's very possible for him to get a lot more possible for this. Unless he does his jump mistake. And he gets it! Dude! First try, 7-6. Look at these points. Teeks is raking in the points right now. All right, Supersonic finishing up. He had an, an, an extra chance at the uh, 643. Is Teeks gonna go for 7-7 though? He is gonna go for 7-7. It doesn't matter how many tries it takes as long as he gets it. Oh my gosh, our first try. Wow, where is that in the speed runs? Holy crap. I cannot believe he just got that first try. Okay, 7-9. He has to get clips three and four first try in seven nine. He's got, look at him, he's nervous. You can tell in his movement. He's got to get clip three and four first try. First try on the first clip's not gonna work. He's got to get three and four first try. Three and four first try. He's not past number two here. Gotta get past number two, and then we can look over on Supersonics. Okay, here we go. Nope, he does not get it, unfortunately, but he did rank in some serious points from World 7. He's gonna get it. He's gonna go for mid clip. Lit Ooh, I hate to see it. That little gap there. That's Ooh, getting gapped. Getting gapped. All right, so he's going for meme clips. Going for the meme clips. All right. So, what Teeks can do now. Is there's a point if he keeps his power up from world seven all the way to the end of the game right here so he ooh, all right so here we go he loses his power up here if he loses his power up here there's he cannot claim that point at the very end you have to keep the power up from world seven before the airship and it's got to be from world seven oh no way he loses his no deaths and he takes a death. Wow, you hate to see it. Oh boy. And he does not get the world second world seven power up kill. That is a hurt. What a swing right there for his points. That is gonna hurt. Okay, keep your eyes on supersonic here, guys. First try clip. He's going for it. Oh, he did the jump correctly. He really did. Um, some of the less experienced Mario 3 players don't know that only subpixel value 14 and 15 when you start 7-1 will let you in that clip. That is only two out of the 16. Very unfortunate. However, he did enter 7-1 and I think that is far more unfortunate. They do not know where their opponent is right now. Oh, you hate to see, man. Teeks would look at Teeks's points, man. He's killing it right now. However, and no off screen wand grabs from either of them. The Supersonic definitely has to think he is behind for sure. Um, but that's that's okay. He might be behind in time, but well, I don't know if they know their points either. I'm keeping track of the points, so I don't think they have the points open. So they don't know what points they have either, and that that makes it even more exciting. All right, so Supersonic can still go for seven six first try, seven seven clip, and seven nine clips three and four first try worth one point five. That is huge. Yep, I tell them after the game. Supersonic still has not used the star though. Using a P wing, that's a smart play from him. However, Supersonic is very close to going over that hour, guys. Remember, your run completely ends at one hour. It is over. So, while we're in the airship, 
And well, Supersonic is going to be doing 7-3. If you look at the points in World 8, if you get Rangless, and that is killing the... the um, that is killing... Why, why can't I think of it? Uh, the Boomerang Bro. The Boomerang Bro on the first tank. If you, if you get, if you kill him without him throwing the boomerang, you get 0.5. You get 0.5 if you get no hands. You get 0.5 if you get the Bowser's elevator clip. You get 0.5 if you use the hammer suit basement strat. You get two try, or no, sorry, you get three tries for the clip. However, I don't think anyone's going to do the hammer suit. And then you get the one point for killing Bowser with the same power up from world seven. Teak's got his power up on the airship. That does not count. Very unfortunate. That does not count. All of, the, all of these rules and the way these points work, they are all on the sheet. For all of these runners to read and get a handle on. Alright. Thankfully, we got Supersonic to keep us busy while Teeks goes through uh, a whole bunch of auto-scrollers. Very exciting. <laughs> Also, if you guys are really enjoying this, Sunday, we have three of these matches all through Sunday. I don't know if they're going to be on uh, Speed Gaming 1. We hope that they are, but we'll we'll see and we'll update the schedule as soon as we can. I think the schedule will be updated tomorrow, most likely, just to, just to make sure. Supersonic using a P-Wing and not going for the clip. How many points for pause strat? Too many. You get too many points. So maybe Supersonic is going to go for the Hammer Suit strategies. Uh, the matches are all consecutive on Sunday starting at uh, 7 p.m. EDT. Hey, we're getting Hammer Suit in here. Right on. So here's, here's how it works. If you get Hammer Suit, you cannot get the Wrangless point in Tank 1. But... If you have hammer suit, you cannot get the hammer suit. Or if you ooh, Teeks cannot get Wrangless. That is not a mistake you often see. But if you have Fire Flower, you cannot get the points for hammer suit basement strats. You cannot get those points. All right. So remember, only clips two and three. Or sorry, three and four. That's all he needs to get. Are the no hands point complete? Yes, they are RNG. There are points allotted or allotted to people who get better RNG versus worse RNG. It's to keep things with the swing of mild fairness, right? The RNG is fair for everyone to get points so that it's not solely based on time because if it was solely based on time, the top three runners will instantly win the tournament and there would be no point in having it, right? The idea is to make it very competitive in a world where lots of people can compete. Makes it exciting. All right, so no Wranglist for Teeks. Unfortunately, that is... You hate to see it. Clip 2 is not working for him. Not working for Supersonic, unfortunately. That is a sad... Ooh, there we go. Okay. Clip 3 and 4. Let's go. Oh, he does not get it. Dang. So some... Ooh, he gets a second try. Oh, imagine he got that first try. That would, that would stink. Um, so... Uh, here's the thing. Somebody asked me earlier, what if you do half of 7-9 and then when you get to the second half, you just go for clips 3 and 4? And that is allowed. You do not have to go for the first and second clip. You can do the level normally and then when you get to clip 3 and 4, you can do those clips or try them. Right? If you don't get clip 3 first try, there's no point in going for the other clips. Just finish the level regularly. Right? Time is not a huge factor, but it is still a part of the point system. All right, so we're going to go for Cloud and Music Box. Yeah, it looks like Supersonic has not used the star. He has three in his inventory. So he has not used the star. So let's give him, let's give him that, let's give him that extra 0.5 right there. And until we see him use the star. All right. Teeks is going for the no hands. It got really quiet. Uh, I don't... I don't think so. Alright. Keep your eyes on Teeks' video. Come on, no hands. He's the no hands guy. 
Oh, hand number two. You hate to see it. No points for you, buddy. You hate to see it. Right on. Is he going to get hand number three, though? Okay, so... Let's take a look at how this works, guys. Oh, dude, Teeks is just getting hammered in this end here. All right, now they're both on airships, okay. Supersonic in World 8, he could get no hands. He could get Bowser's Castle first try, and he could keep the power up from World 7. Okay, that is two points, and that could bring him back to a solid zero. He could get a slot of points and second place. That's pretty good, man. There's still lots of points to, to come from this. However, Teeks does not get Wrangless. Teeks does not get no hands. So Teeks can only get first try clip. Those are his last earnable points that he can acquire himself. Anything else is from time and your, uh, your, um, standing. Uh, if you type in exclamation or exclamation SMB3, there will be um, a command there, and it'll give you a link to a write-up of all the points and their descriptions, so you can understand what they are. Uh, because not all of you are gonna understand exactly what these pictures are. It'll help you learn, and once you learn them, you'll know them for the rest of the season. You'll be fine. Going for that fire flower. He really needs it because he did seven nine. So he has a cloud for the fortress. Breaking that block just for party strats. Right on, killing it. Thirty month hype. Welcome back to Speed Gaming. Speed Gaming, thank you very much. It's always good to support these tournament streams and speed gaming. All right. So here's the scary part, though. Supersonic needs to beat this world in less than nine minutes. Okay. I don't think Supersonic can beat this in eight minutes, man. It, this is scary. This is scary. Ooh, Teeks with two extra P-Wings. That is, that is very strange. I wonder what he could use his P-Wings for. All right. Last tank. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Supersonic still keeps all of his points. What happens if you hit over an hour is that your run stops, which means you can't get any, po any more points. You lost that chance, and you lose one point for doing it in over an hour. Um, but the run stops, and then they get ready for the second match right away. Um, we need to keep tournaments, and we need to keep matches at a, at a very nice, um, consistent time frame so people can really invest a lot more time to these. If you know that these two matches will never go over two hours, I think it's easier for you to adjust your time. There's no way uh, that these matches can go longer than two hours and five minutes. Now, after this match, I am actually going to ask um, Haxer if he would like to join me on the second match and maybe possibly have him keep track of Supersonic. I'll keep track of Teeks. He asked me if I needed help earlier. I, I mean, I am fine, but if, we'll see if he wants to come and join me. I don't know where he is right now, but I'll message him after the races. But we, we got to keep a certain level of excitement here. This is crazy. Okay, so he needs to get the elevator clip first try. Let's see if he gets it. Oh! Oh, he does not get it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he does not get it. So, let's say Supersonic gets no hands. Um, he will still keep the no hands point even if he goes over an hour. So, Teeks did not keep the original power-up. However, Supersonic does keep the original power-up. Now, the power-up is awarded by entering the door with Bowser after keeping that original power-up. So, if Teeks goes over an hour, he does not get that point, unfortunately. You have to enter Bowser's door for it. So, 
Teeks got first place. So he gets his points. Two points for first place, one point for second. And he finished with a official time of 5440. So he did it in under 60 minutes, but he did not do it. He did it within four, 54 minutes. So he gets that. Right there. Or wait, no, is it 52 to 54? And then 54 to 60. So he actually does not get that point. My bad. Always got to double check. He does not. That's right. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. You guys are right. I got so many windows. I can't even open up the points window. But I, I remember my points. So Teeks has officially finished his very first game. Oh, Super Sonic getting pulled by a hand. Does not get rewarded with the hand point. Unfortunately. You hate to see it. I know, Mitch. Learn the rules. I know. I know. So we know Supersonic is second place, so he does get a second place point. But will he finish in under? In under. The hands are not making it help him. That's not helping him. So we're going to go over to the Discord here. Okay. Teeks finished with six points overall. Congrats with first place. So we'll see how super- Oh, Supersonic losing the power up. Uh, if he, I don't know if he's going to make it under an hour anyways. If he can make it to Bowser's Castle, maybe, and get the clip. That seems like the only thing he can really do from this point. Not sure. Oh, he died as well. Add an extra point. Sorry, I was- I was- Oh, okay, so he's gonna stop here. Okay, that makes sense. So he loses one point one point for over the hour. That's right. There you go. He does not get rewarded with anything else. Uh, right now we have a minus 2.5 for Supersonic and six for Teeks going into round two. They keep those points going into round two and total points at the end. The person with the most points wins. Then that gets allotted to their total points all together in the tournament. Their next opponent starts at zero again. However many points at the end of those two games will be the winner. And those points go towards the total again. So they have a total point uh, to their name for their own stats. All right. So it looks like they're ready. We're going to, I'm going to count them in. Yeah, you got to win those MVP awards, man. That's right. Because season two, season three, we can we can allot uh, different points, different stats, and a whole bunch of different stuff we can do with it. Okay, I'm gonna count them in right now. I made them dot ready like five minutes ago, so I actually have to make sure they're ready again. <laughs> okay, we got one ready, we got two ready. Okay, so we got three, two, one, go. All right. So they are on the go. So bottom tracker is Teeks. Top tracker is. Supersonic. All right. So game two, minus 2.5 versus six. If Teeks ends up ending with a minus, we take that away from his total points he scored in the first game. <laughs> Teeks already trailing, dude. Supersonic's killing it, man. He, I think he's pissed, you know? <laughs> I see neither of them went for the pipe rub because, you know, they're men, I guess. <laughs> Why would you, right? Why would you? <laughs> I always go for it. I'd rather just not die. <laughs> I think it's pretty good in tournaments, honestly. To You might as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's like what you maybe save, I don't know, a quarter second not doing it. Right. Maybe. Versus, I mean, you saw what happened when I messed it up 1-1 one, one at GDQ. I was behind for like 30 yep. seconds for like three worlds, right? That's what it is, man. Yep. And then here you die, you lose your deathless immediately, right? So... Exactly, exactly. Uh, if I Ooh, scream into the geeks. mic, I apologize so much. Because <laughs> I, I get way too Wow. Hard. Double waffle jump here, sick. <laughs> Dude, he's killing it, man. He, he's. I, I think you're right. I, I don't think he was happy with that 54. All right. Nah, he's, uh, he's going for it all. First one to the tunnel. Let's go. Is he going to get his first points in World 1? Go ahead and take a look. Ooh! Oh, you hate to see it. I do you not think. hate to see it. No tunnel fatigues. Supersonic. If he gets it here, he finally gets a chance. 
Oh, he did not keep the duck input. You hate to see it. So neither of them have used stars, and neither of them have died. Not yet, at least. Duck inputs, those are impossible. Uh, duck inputs are, are just too hard. They're just way too hard. All right, so we start off slow with the points, and then as we get through the worlds, they ramp up with the amount of points you can get. So world one, there's no more points for them to gain. They are technically tied with no deaths and have Ooh. used no stars. Oh, well, and I take that back. <laughs> Ooh, you hate to see it. So it looks like Supersonic loses the death reward and gets the 0.5 for the death. He is at an even zero right now. He had, he had a chance. Is that what we call commentator's curse right there? That is. I blew it. I was like super ready. Everyone was having a good time. And then bam. No one believes me, man. That's the scariest level in your run. <laughs> when you're racing or doing a marathon run. It looked like he undershot the platform, right? Uh, he overshot the Koopa. I think he jumped over the Koopa. <laughs> Oh, God, you hate to see it, man. You, you really hate to see it. <laughs> you really do. But the good news is, is that meanwhile, he did lose his one point reward for not dying and he lost the 0.5 for the death. However, with his time and everything that you guys have seen in the first match, there is so much more that uh, he can do to bring this back. Uh, now, I advise them in their break to read over the points again so that there's not missing because it seemed like in game one, he thought falling down the shaft got him points. It looked like he almost intentionally oh, did it. Oh. That that is okay. a miss that is a misread of the yeah. rules. Nope. Yeah, right. he I mean, honestly, if, if he keeps fire through, you know, 6F1, that's like probably the most important thing you can do in your run, really. Right. And uh basically, I think just building strategies around that's really smart. Yeah. For instance, I think in World 3 when you get there, you just skip the hammer hammer bro. And if you, just to make sure you don't get run away, just so you don't have to play the auto scroller or take a death. Exactly. And you, you want to do the, ooh, 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 getting scared. You want to, um, Dukes. you want to uh, do the fortress in world four anyways, right? So you might as well. Yeah. I mean, it really depends. Uh, there's a couple schools of thought there. Uh, if you're going for a starless run, uh, I, you know, I, it probably isn't worth it necessarily just cause it's really hard, right? Exactly. Um, but if if you're not worried about that, then just star away and yeah, play it. Why not? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, a star. You know, you, once you use one star, you you lose the point five, and you have the ability to use as many points as you want after that, right? So. Exactly. Um, one thing I will note is that if some of you are saying, "Mitch, the fire," oh wait, hold on. Before we get into, it, we gotta watch Teeks. See if he gets this two ninety two in the pipe. It's easy but hard. Ah, the bottom hill. It's not looking good yeah. for him. Lost no. way too much speed. Yeah, if you get that bottom hill, you're just not going to get it. Uh, the scary thing about this level, too, is you want to get that good beginning speed, but sometimes you get too good of beginning speed and you go right in the pit. So yep. there is a little bit of risk going for it. additional risk, I mean. Because oh. sometimes, it, and you wouldn't notice if you're not an... Ex oh, hold on. We got Supersonic here. All right. He's got good speed. You want to get some frame jumps? Ooh, looking good. This is looking really good. Oh, he started running. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no. Just ran too much. Oh, he was. That was really close. That's closer than Teeks has been tonight. Um, but um, a lot of runners, and you wouldn't notice it, they kind of do that level intentionally a little slower, and you, you can't really tell the difference. So now you guys can finally see a big difference between 292 and 291. Teeks actually got the earliest P speed here in this level, which was pretty nuts. Uh, uh, Super Song, that was interesting. He kind of yeah. paused there to prime it, huh? Yeah, to get the dry bones to move, to get more runway. That's not a bad idea. I think doing that, if you did that quickly, that's still a good... Holy crap, that's still pretty good. Yeah, I've, I've never seen that before. That feels like it's about the same as the the normal, not like earliest, earliest possible, but the one that we normally go for just because it's an easy build. It's about exactly. the same, I think. So some people in chat might be asking, Mitch, why did you make fire kills on the boss's points when they're, when they're complicated and stuff? Uh, I will say, if you guys do read the rules and the way the points work, I do teach everyone how exactly the bosses work. 
and everyone has had about four to six months uh, to kind of practice and look into it lately. So if you see people not doing fire kills or not understanding them, you have you hate to see it, but you have to chalk that up as not practicing, not getting involved. Those are your chances. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't miss fireballs either. Just don't do it. You do not it's want bad. to miss the fireballs. Right? And, and again, like I said, if people want to get involved in Season 2, you have right now to get into this, right? And you have another six or seven months before Season 2 starts. You got lots of time. So do you think we're going to see 221 from both of them? Uh, I don't think Super Sonic goes for this kill. Like, um, I, I, I would imagine Teeks would get it, but I'm I'm not sure. I don't recall if Ryan goes for it or not, actually. So he did go for it in the last race. Uh, he went okay, for it last so race. He does. Okay. Uh, but he took damage from it, and that's what caused him the bonus. Ooh, Teeks does not get the bonus. Oh, he is. Oh, and Super Sonic either. No bonus there. That is, dude, you hate to see it. That That is three points, dude. If you can keep that Fire Flower to World 6, that is three points. Yo, that pyramid PTSD, man. That pyramid oh, is the worst. Yeah. You ate to see it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so they got to be really careful and pay attention to the movements uh, they get from the whistle here uh, before going in this airship because it's going to affect their boss pattern. So they have to grab the fire here. So at minimum, they're getting the movement of two pattern. And then if they get a movement of two and then grab it, it should be the 100% pattern. Yeah, and that, that that is one of the things that goes along with uh, learning and understanding how the fire kills work. They're all in the description there, and yeah, the Hammer Brother movements really make it annoying. Um, also, there's one really annoying thing. If you do, like, frame-perfect map movements, that can also sometimes really uh, confuse you yeah. for your patterns. It's uh, very interesting. And that's why I decided to only put one fire kill, and World 2 is the most understood and common fire kill that everyone pretty much needs to go for it. Yeah, you should only be seeing three patterns. He's he's gonna two of the patterns he's gonna shoot right away, and then one of them he'll just land in the pit, and then after like a split second jump, and then the other one he'll shoot a, his wand while he's in the pit. And then yeah, he'll just run forward. Which we're gonna see. Yeah, so we'll. Or I guess we're gonna see. Okay, movement two. Oh. He got the oh, two twenty yeah. one. Congratulations, Teak. So that is his first point after uh, having. Uh, he did not die. Uh, he did not use a star, so he does get the 0. .5 for the 221 or higher fire kill. It's going to be interesting to see what he decides to do from here, though, since he did take damage. Does he know that, you know, he doesn't know that Supersonic took damage as well. Is he going to assume that he didn't? You know, how is he going to play? Exactly. Exactly. So keep your eyes on Teeks right now, guys. If he gets the frame perfect jump here, he gets 0. .5. He wants this jump. Oh, and he didn't get it. He is O for that jump tonight. He did not get it. Guy, come on, guys. It's a frame perfect jump. So easy. <laughs> it's actually pretty hard. Um, jumps like those are very difficult because they start off without a visual cue. You just enter the level and you have to know exactly when to do it. Yeah, I mean, they should just play on all stars, get the free half point. Right, just hold A. <laughs> so cheap. All right, so the next point for Teeks is he can go for door three, except uh, so for Supersonic here, he can go for the frame perfect jump and get it. So keep your eyes on uh, Supersonic stream right now. See if he gets the 0.5. Ooh, oh. very bad damage. All right, Supersonic, come on, buddy. Get this 0.5. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm so nervous for them to get these like weird little <laughs> 0.5s and stuff. You ate to see it. Ah, oh, that's two for two runaway for Teeks, man. Yeah, he's, he's swearing and that right now. Hammer Bro's in a really bad spot because bad spot. he might have to fight it. Interesting. Would you have gone for this Fire Flower or 3-4 Fire Flower? 
Oh. Um, I think three, four, probably because I don't know the three, three flower is really hard to get quickly. Um, there's also the potential to get the three, two flower at the end. You got to wait for the plant anyway. You just kind of do like a jump over him and you can get it sometimes. Yeah. Um, exactly what we were just talking about. Teeks has a very, very bad setup world three. He has to fight this hammer brother and does not get door three. He is not having a good world three guys. I, I actually think getting the music box in two is pretty good for this reason. Um, just in case something like this happens. Mm -hmm. Um, but also you can use it to skip hammer bros later on in the run. Cause I mean, they're going to try to wall jump anyway. So you don't need the fourth P way. Well, let's be honest. Uh, let's see here. The music box is not going to push you from 52 to the 54 range. So why not? Right? Exactly. Yep. Yep. So there's, let's see how yeah, teeks. it's just kind of like a, you know, just prevention, you know, a little insurance. All right. So, Supersonic also got Runaway, but he does have that extra music box. Let's see if he gets door three here. This is very important to get door three. Oh, he took damage. That's okay. Get that door. Oh, he didn't get... Dude, oh. I keep thinking they're going to get um, some of these points. It's crazy. Um. You can see, like... How often they're take? How more often they're taking damage to running this because they're playing so much different than they normally have to play. It's kind of interesting. Exactly right. The some of the some of the hits, um, you can tell. Ah, this is unfortunate. In in terms of time, in terms of time, Supersonic is gaining a massive lead here. Absolutely yeah, he's massive lead. Yeah, essentially playing a coin ship here, right? <laughs> Dude, should we have minus 0.5 for for, <laughs> for playing three? No, I would never. <laughs> Might as well punish for runaway, right? If that's the case. Right. You only get to try Jesus Clip one try. If everything wasn't one try, you would just honestly sit there and farm. You'd probably play a spade game, like cl yeah. full, full clear the spade game, just sit at Jesus Clip. Just hit mushroom houses all the way there, and then yeah, you just sit there for an hour. That'd be really fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wee! Going for the slide. Look at how this is why we cloud this level in warpless, guys. A lot of people ask this question. Look at how long this is. And just watch the ha watch the hammer brother going his way. Wow, supersonic with those hill runs. I would never do that. That's so scary. I, it's what he does, and it, it works. I guess it's interesting. Yeah. It, it looks cool though. Supersonic yeah, takes the time Supersonic lead. Supersonic takes a. Yeah, he takes a. Oh no, dude. The worst. Teeks having to fight the hammer bro on top of it. Yeah. So here's an example I mean... of, of why you need to practice your points, guys. Because if Supersonic was. If he nailed like tunnel, door three, and maybe the jump, you know, he would be in the lead for points. He'd be winning this game. Well, I mean, he's got that death, but still. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at this point, as long as he finishes ahead, you know, he gets... He's got to win the race. Like, winning the race is, like, fairly important, especially if you're in a uh, different time bracket. Oh, missing the H jump there. That's, that's rough. Yeah, that's pretty rough, yeah. So if they tie on points after the first two games, the person with the better time wins. So unfortunately, that's going to be really hard with Supersonic with his game one being an hour. So he'd have to beat Teeks by like six minutes. I, I, I don't know. I think Teeks is going to go for that Wendy. He was boasting so hard in my stream the other day. And I was like, all right, <laughs> uh, let's see it. And then he didn't go for it in game one. He did not go for it for game one. I mean, at this point, I think it's fine if you go for it, to be honest. Although <laughs> you are potentially, potentially sacrificing a half second he could save in world four in the fortress. Right. Or half point, I mean. You, you mean in terms if he loses his fire flower? Yep. Yeah, I agree. Um, 
A lot of people were saying a big tw uh, there's like a 11 second difference. It's a little bit more of a difference. In-game clock is weird, but as you guys noticed by now, 12 second sacrifice for a .5 in this uh, in this style of playing, that's worth it. I don't, I don't know. There's no way that couldn't be. That's a Hammer Brother battle, right? Yeah, the I mean the different brackets you're only getting an extra point in terms of time. So unless you know something prevents you from being in the next bracket and you lose an entire point, then maybe you start to question it. But at the same time, if you lose a bunch of time and you say or you get like one and a half points versus the one you would have got with a better time. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna see if Teeks goes for it. He's going for it. Nine hits with the fireballs. Oh! Oh, he loses it. He's got it. Ah, oh, he doesn't get it. He got. No, nope. oh. the three rings were no, not out. No third ring. Yeah. No third oh. ring. Damn. You hate to see it. You hate. You do. You do. He hit the 210. He hit the right time, but that third ring took too long. Love that point. I love that point five, dude. It's so trolly, but it's so. <laughs> that is such a good point five. I can't five. believe he's. I, that's great that he went for it. I can't believe anybody would. I, when I saw that, I'm like, uh, nope. <laughs> he's got pass. a. He, he's got a strap, man. I mean, that is the point five. But um, yeah. Anyway, so he will be getting his fire flower back. That is really not a huge sweat off his back. He could be upset about it, but I don't see why he would be. He didn't lose anything from it. This is fire flower. Yeah, he, he can... already lost the flower. Yeah. So. Honestly, he could get the half point from the fortress. Now you start to consider maybe you hit up a mushroom house and get hope to get a flower. Right. Like that's if... actually a consideration. That's not a bad idea either. Um, because there's nowhere for him to get a fire flower right now for that world four point. Yeah, also a card game. A card game would be probably the best way, right? Because yep. you're guaranteed there's there's eight cards. They're always the same. Seven of the eight, there's going to be basically a fire flower in the first or second slot and then towards the bottom, so it's pretty easy to get. You just go from there. All right, so level three. Supersonic has a juicy lead right now, um, mainly because the fire flower uh, really helps. Yeah, he, uh, obviously, you didn't have to fight the hammer, bro, and then, you know, Teek sacrificing about 10 seconds on the Wendy fight and uh, not getting the half points is pretty detrimental, too, so. Yep. Ooh, getting a little scared Ooh, there from, scared. Uh, yeah, Supersonic. That was smart, though. That's not a bad... If you... Dude, deaths are huge in this. Yeah, you don't want to die. You don't want to die 13 times from the pyramid? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. We don't talk about those things. <laughs> That's so lame, man. I feel you. So, Teeks is not going to do the Mushroom House. Oh! Is this to guarantee he doesn't get Star Bro? This is very interesting cloud there. Oh, because he had the extra cloud from 3-6. I totally forgot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Ooh, Supersonic losing the Fire Flower. So Teeks was a little bit further ahead than we had thought. Man, we'll see what he does here. Ooh. All right, nails it. Yeah, that's one of the best levels of cloud that you can cloud. Um, the longest from this point is going to be 8 fort, which they could cloud. But there are risks to mm -hmm. such things. Mm -hmm. Like if you have Fire Flower and you lose it, you can't get it back. <laughs> yep. That is a hate. Let me mistake. tell you. Yeah, it's eight two. It happens. It does happen in that level. So you have to imagine right here that uh, Teeks has a huge weight lifted off his shoulders, uh, mainly because he hasn't had Fire Flower in a very long time. All World Four. I think he's a little happy now. He's got it. He's like, all right, pick yourself back up. No points for either of them. Getting Star Bro. Nothing in the last two worlds. So we're gonna hope that Teeks maybe falls down the, the shaft of despair, you know, or maybe someone go for Jesus clip. All right. Yeah, it's it's interesting. This boss, yeah, obviously there's no points with fire killing it, but when you stomp this boss, you're taking a big risk of taking damage. So I'm actually interested to see what other people decide to do here. 
Me too. Because, <laughs> yeah, the, you know, the hitbox is just not good. All right, so since both players are on the World 4 airship, I'm going to take this opportunity uh, to show you guys and have you guys get used to some of the other opponent's avatars. Uh, we got the Haxer right here, who's in the top. We got Teeks, who is playing right now. Uh, we got Stewie Cartman. All right, he's also in the tournament. We got Zikubi. We also have Macobra. Uh, we have Brosis. His picture is a shirt. I'm not sure what that's about, but pretty dope <laughs> avatar. I love it. We got Bowtie. Okay, we got Zero Planes. We got, we got Calco. You guys know Calco. I think everyone knows Louie as well. Best. We got Dave Lindo in here. We got Narf Men. We got Cobra. We got Supersonic, who's playing right now. We got I Booba. So um, every day we'll, we're going to be going back through all of these and checking out the total points, games won, their stats, average player. It'll be really good. Uh, is this airship not done yet? What's going on here? I mean, it's the best level in the game. Of course, it's going to take a while. It's the worst level in the game. It takes so long. <laughs> yeah, well, when are the donations coming through from the World 4 airship, though? Right, I, I got nothing to read right now. The, cou the couch selfie airship, that's right. 2000 uh, 2018 <laughs> strats, right? Or 17 or something? Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh! Dude, that's Sniperonies. If Stewie's watching, he just had a heart attack. <laughs> right? Also, uh, keep in mind, guys, if <laughs> if if uh, if Teeks dies, okay, he's only 0.5 ahead. All right, so we really got to focus here and watch out for movements of four, but. One thing I do know is that Teeks needs to get a P-Wing here because he music box. He cannot get the music box in 5-1. Unfortunately. No, because he would be using a P-Wing as well. So, um, Haxer, definitely keep an eye out for movements of four uh, from Supersonic if you can. All right. And we will, uh, we will see how Teeks does as well. So we got World 5, we got Shaft of Despair. We got three points for Jesus Clip and 0.5 for no moves of four. 5-1 box is banned. That is correct. He cannot get it. All right, nice Teeks. Nice two there. Don't fall, Teeks. All right. So no shaft of despair from Teeks. World 5 is crazy. It's hard enough to speedrun, let alone freaking you got shafts and other things. <laughs> Minus seven. Well, you have at least eight months to practice for season two, Human Mustard. You do have time. Is that a movement of four? That looked like three. Um, Sonic got a movement. Oh, and he's taking this really safe. Oh, yeah. uh, he got a movement of one, so it must yeah. be nice. Must be nice. Never seen that before. Yeah, that was a movement of three. Ooh, backward swag strap from Supersonic. Killing it. Supersonic must know he's doing much better this race than last one. Yeah, for sure. All right, no movements of four here. Yeah, only, only that fortress back, fortress in the pipe transition. That might was that, that a move? No, that was that a was either three. three or four. That was three. He got, he just got two movements of three. Oh, and he got oh, the yeah, star. That's... Very unfortunate. A supersonic, uh, it's impossible for him to get a movement of four after getting a movement of one, right? So there's no way he got a movement of four. Yep. Well, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. It had to go up or do a movement of three. Yeah, even the bottom bros could only give him three. All right. So, uh, Teeks, he got two movements of three and one movement of, uh, two. And there's another movement of two, so... Teeks is pretty good from bottom. Once we get to the cl cloud section, it's so much easier to keep track. Pretty much. You just watch whatever the sky bro decides to do. Oh, that was a movement of four for sure. 
Supersonic just got hit with a movement of four, man. Unfortunate. He does not well, get the point. When he comes out and he's behind. Yeah, he's behind the castle. Nine. Ooh, Teex is scared right now. He knows if he gets a movement of four, he's screwed. See, another reason that extra music box could come in handy from World 2. You could prevent movements of four. Music box, right? That's a strategy. Yep. For sure. Um, unfortunately, you have to have one movement between each music box, so that is still very scary. You get, it's gambles, right? And gambles yep. there. Yeah, yeah, he's back there. Oh, Teeks. All he needs is a right movement, and he's, he's home free. No movements of four. No movements of four. Come on. I just want to see people ranking ranking these beautiful beautiful points. Do you think they're... I think Supersonic's going to go for Jesus Clip. He already died. Teeks might not go for it. All right, Teeks getting the point five right there for no movements of four. That is two times in a row. You'd love to see it, man. That is incredible. I, I got to play for weeks. <laughs> Oof, the leaf. Good old 5-5 good old five, five leaf. It took away Everybody's his favorite. speed, too. I want to see a Jesus clip from Teeks. I want to see, if Supersonic gets a Jesus clip. Holy crap, dude! He's he's ahead. He's ahead. He's in the lead. That's a good point. All right, is Teeks gonna go for it? Let's see. No, he is not. Okay, big swing here. It's because Supersonic has already died, so th there's no reason yep. not to, right? I guess. Yeah, you lose half a point, but uh, much less damaging than your first death costing one and a half, right? I want to see this, man. I want to see this so bad. This will also clean up his average points, or at least his, his total points above minus. You hate to see the minus. Well, I mean, it depends. Some more trash could happen for the rest of the run. All right, here it Always. is. Oh, he, oh, dude, he just needed to run a little bit more on the right side of that block. He jumped a little too early there. <sighs> Another death there. That's okay. He needed a stronger sub pixel too. Feels yep. bad. Yep, he needed something. Ooh, ooh, getting scary. Dude, that one, oh, that one that comes out of the sky is so trolly. Yeah, it's interesting how even without P speed, as long as you keep moving in that stage, you avoid all of them. But as soon as you stop, you're in a bad spot. Right? They do one of those freaking. Remember in the Nintendo Power, like 5 8? Oh, impossible to take damage. But like, it. you should have said that about the fortress, as long as you don't stop moving. <laughs> Oh, not getting P-Speed there. Jumped a little early. That's going to be trouble for this level, actually. This yeah, level we were just talking about harder. that. Doc oh, nice slide there. Oh, well, we made it. Yeah, it's interesting. As long as you're in contact with the pipe at the end, too, if the Lakitu is above you, you'll go through the pipe before it damages you. It's weird. Dude, Supersonic has to be way happier with this run. He's gonna, looks, from the looks of it, he's gonna complete, you know, under the hour, keep his points, not get punished. Hopefully. Alright, so what Teeks do we got not here? not going for a fire kill, huh? Right. I thought he was the fire king there. He does. Yeah. I know. I He's playing conservative, I get it. Dude, Supersonic is hurting right now for the points here. Nothing. We got no star inventory, though. And Teeks has not died yet. We got... Teeks nailed the fire, and he got the no moves of four, which is fantastic. So he had... not. Neither of them claimed the first flower power-up. That is probably one of the harder ones to do. Um, also... You can try and go for the 0.5 wall jump and then the floor flip. 
on. Oh, what do you mean the first flower, the one from the bro, or what? Uh, well, your first fire flower, your first power up to world six. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yep. I know what you mean. Very close. So just to double check, just to remind you guys, Teeks. Uh, Teeks currently has. Oh yeah, so Teeks currently has six points on the side, and Supersonic is chilling with a minus two point five on the side. So if Teeks, so if Teeks doesn't lose any more points from here, he's got eight point five chilling. That's a that's a heavy amount of points to try and beat. But these races are gonna get crazy when there's only you know six or seven people left. Nice to see- ooh, getting sc Oh, he used the star! He, are he does not get the no inventory star point. Teeks loses that point five right there. Yeah, eight to see it. So Yeah, just not wanting to take a death, I guess. Uh, it makes some degree of sense. I mean, if he takes a death, he loses one and a half, right? So. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was definitely worth it. Oh, last race, Supersonics. Oh, when he made this- ooh. That was rough. No, that was definitely not an accidental star. Definitely not an accidental star. Okay. So he gets his he gets his cloud here. I think he was gonna use the star anyways for the uh, manipulation. Oh no, he gets the star here. Sorry, we got them uh, backwards there. Nice. Well, the other thing is, too, he, he did have a nice point lead, so it's, you know, barring a complete disaster this race. Pretty much, yeah. Ah, this is crazy right now. They're, like, so close in time. Like, the hands could even swing this. 7-1 could swing this. Anything can. And Supersonic is not far behind in points. All right, let's, come on, you got it this time. Just run right off. Don't turn back. Thank you. Nice. Well done. Oh yeah, he's doing much better game two. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I love when you use the star in Patooies. You like destroy like a thousand of their little black things. Oh yeah, and it makes the really loud, annoying noise. Yeah, yeah. The, the ting noise. The last time Teeks got. All right, take a look at Teeks' screen. See if he gets first try wall jump here. He wants it. Oh, he does not get it. He had it last time. Oh, there you go. He got it. What was that? Third or fourth try? Uh, third, yeah. Finally got a sub pixel there. Yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, you can't just jump into the wall and jump and expect it to work anytime you do a single frame input. You have to wait for a good subpixel value so that you stand on the wall. You gotta hit the right pixel and get the right subpixel value, and then you are good to go to do a single frame or like two frame jump on some sometimes. Yeah, and then the other thing with that too is, um, you know, certain subpixels will allow you extra frames in order to make the jump too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, getting hill baited right there. Supersonic, I don't think he knows that uh, Big Mario is worse at wall jumping. But he is small Mario, so. Well, if he gets it here, that'll clean him back to zero again. No, it's no Sonic can't get coin ships because all of the bros are gone. <sighs> Jumped a little too early there. Ah, oh, come on, you got this, Sonic. Ah, oh, you got the pixel. See, yeah, yeah. Ooh, not getting the jump is is rough. Yeah, he's good at wall jumping too. He, you know, he plays plenty of Mario One, so he does understand it, right? Oh, 
Come on, buddy. Stressful, though. Come on. P Often the mistakes are pressing jump too early. That is the most common mistake for wall jumping. Yeah, you gotta let that wall engulf you. Engulf Mario. Yeah. Swallow him up. Yeah, get up in there. But you see how many of the pixels he gets a small Mario. You would not get the. Ooh, he got it! Right on. Uh, however, you would not get that many pixels with Big Mario. Very rare do you get that. Alright, World 7 is so interesting. We got. Teeks is not normally a very good 7-1-er, uh, but... I don't know what pixel he has right now, but that is definitely not a good one. Because he, <laughs> he, he didn't move forward one pixel, gave up on it, because the wand was falling, and just went for the move left, and did not move left. Yeah, that that looks like 11. That's what I'm going to guess. Right, he's, he's on like on 9 some or some, some crap, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like 9 or 11, you know, it's definitely not 14 or 15, and I don't know if it's 0 to... Ah, Teeks in his 7-1. Alright, keep your eyes on Teeks' screen right now. This is time for him to get some World 7 points here. Supersonic not getting the floor clip. Definitely not 14 or 15. He did the right jump too, and he, you hate to see it. He did. Yep. Head clipped. There you go, he got it. Right on. <laughs> so, he he has a star. I know he has a star, right? So he's not gonna make the same mistake he made last race. Yeah, he's definitely. Yeah, he already star. used one too, so there's nothing to be gained here. Exactly. Not bad. Right on. Here we go. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. dude, so lucky, man. If that spawned, he would have died. Cool guys don't look at piranha plants, dude. <laughs> dude, he would have he would have shot there. I want to see Supersonic get this first try. I want to see him get a first try here. I want to see this first try. Come on, Supersonic. So there's really not much that uh, that can go on right now with Teeks' side, just kind of bombing away through these little mini levels. 7-3 is a huge joke. I don't think we're gonna see Supersonic uh, set up for ooh set up for a subpixel manip. No, we're not. No. Okay. Um, it's gonna just go right at that wall. Just gonna go right for it. I would love to see him get a first try. It's very possible for him. So he's gonna do only duck jump when he first starts the level. Had he read the notes in the point system, he would know that subpixel. Values are not friendly, and the setup really helps. Um, but, you know, it's a lot to take in. So you do what you know sometimes, and you just try and try your best, right? Yeah, it's not really worth doing if you don't know what you're doing, though, too. Exactly. So, you know, That's exactly if you don't it. have practice. Oh, dude, that was a really good duck jump, too. Oh, second try. Dang it, dude. All right, so Teeks needs to get this first try. Hey, I thought he got it. <laughs> I prematured right there. Oof. Teeks is not. Oh, you, you hate to see stand clip not work in 7-6 because so many subpixels work for it. Super Sonic is saying no today. Here. Yeah. This is a good P Wing usage since, I mean. He had the extra P wing and he's going for six nine wall jump. So exactly. Honestly, I'm super impressed to see um, not what, what would I say not primary Mario three speedrunners go for wall jump in a game that's not like their number one game. Like that's that's a big risk to go for. That's incredible. Is he gonna go for seven seven again? Yes, he is. He wants that point. You hate, oh, if you accidentally go into the pipe, that's what you hate to see the most. 
Yeah, honestly, it's probably worth dying <laughs> if you do. Right? Just screw that level and then go for the hammer suit, right? Oh! He gets the 7-7. Seven, seven. So he just got one point for clipping 7-7. Seven, seven. You have as many tries as you'd like. However, the reason it's in here is because it is a big, big time swing. But he nailed it. Yeah, technically he lost time versus playing 7-8 there, but... He got points. the point. So again, somebody had mentioned, can you do half of this level, then just go for clip three and four? And yes, you can. But he's he's saying no. Okay, so here we go. Ah, the worst, dude. I, I originally had um, clip two and three as first try, but then I realized in order to get clips two and three first try, that means you have to get clip one, two, and three first try technically. So I, uh, I had switched it to three and four. Jumping a little late, a little I late. think. For yeah, that. late for sure. Oh, he's really getting mid clip. I mean, mid clip is like three attempts, and then it's like you gotta get out of there. All right, supersonic. Let's go. First try. He's going for it. Oh, and that was a good jump too. Ooh. Dang it, supersonic is just so close to these points. So close. Not too bad, though. Not right. too bad. Ah, Teeks getting the 7-7. Seven, seven. That's about it. No coin ships. No fanfares. Teeks has not died yet. The, ooh. The thing I like about this, he learned from last time, there's no reason to play 7-F2. No reason. Ooh! Does Supersonic know this strategy? Let's see. Oh, you, you hate to see it. Technically, he could die and come back in the level and try it again. There's no cap on it. But again, all time... They're all time sacrifices, right? You just lose and lose and lose time. Yeah. Although this is significantly easier than 7-8, so... Of course, of course, yeah. And he tried Hammer Suit last time and decided he wasn't going to go for it this time, I guess. Yeah, I guess he's trying to get the point. I think at this point he realizes he needs points, so, you know? Oh. Uh, I said points a lot. That was cringe. Ah, <laughs> whatever. All right, so <laughs> if I was him, I would honestly do top path and just go for clip three and four. I'd always feel guilty wasting. Uh, like, what if you nailed clip one and two first try? You're like, uh, well, there's no way I'm going to nail the next two clips. Right? Oh, uh, this level. Trouble. I know. All right, guys, take this as an example why you should just never play this level in vanilla speedrunning. Just just saying. No, unless you're like me and you're stuck and you're forced to do this crap. There we go. Yeah, if your run's dead or you're going for world record, sure. All Any right. Any other circumstance, don't do it. <sighs> oh, no, dude, that was it. I know, he was so there. And that's 1.5 points. That's huge for him. Oh, dude. Guess what, guys? You hate to see it. <laughs> you do. You really do. I mean, once he got him, he really got him. But So is he going to cloud? Yes. Okay. So Supersonic is about two minutes... I don't know, two minutes, five seconds behind, right? Two minutes, nine seconds, I think. Um, yeah, roughly, like, 2.15-ish. And Teeks has not died. Again, remember, everyone, they do not know where their opponent is. Uh, Teeks does know that Supersonic is the underdog in this matchup. However, points can play a huge role. Teeks, in the last four worlds, has only gotten 1.5 points from the No Moves of Four and Pipe Clip. So, if... Yeah, what was the score in the first race? Uh, Supersonic didn't have any points, right? And Teeks had how many? Like six? Supersonic had minus 2.5 and Teeks had six. Yeah, so having such a big lead, I mean, you know, kind of changes how you play, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, had Honestly, had Supersonic got Jesus Clip, this would be incredible right now.
because, right? Like, like imagine, like if he got Jesus clip and got first place with like in the 54 bracket, like, that's a lot of points. Um, that would at least change his average. Yeah. It'd be closer. It'd be much closer. Um, so I mean, if you he'd, kill... He'd be right there if if he just didn't take damage through what, 1 through 6, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, that just shows you how important that is. Exactly. Um, but yeah, if you... If Teeks kills the boomerang bro at the end of this tank without him throwing his boomerang, he'll get the extra point, point 0.5 there. Not de-lagging at the end of this level. Mitch hates to see it. God, you hate to see it. The old stand there and do nothing and save frames. But it happens. <laughs> so Use they bombs to kill bombs. So they both have their original power up, which is good. They just got to keep it. They just got to keep it. All right, Wrangless? No. He has to move forward for Wrangless. He actually got the worst possible thing that could have happened to him there, too. It right. was uh, the delay the throw. throw yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the delay throw move backwards. Well, move forwards delay throw would be Wrangless, but that's that's the worst yep. for Hammer Suit. Yep. Yep. So is Supersonic, man. If he gets Wrangless, he's back at zero. Right? He might not or win. No hands. Right? He might not win between both the matches altogether, but getting a win in a game is still really good because it will still push your rank in a certain direction versus people who lose both of their games. So. And this is single elimination. If Teeks wins this, Supersonic is knocked out of the entire tournament. No coming back. Alright, guys. How many hands do you think Teeks is going to get here? We're talking about the guy who gets no hands two times in one day. Not possible. Four hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get those four hands, guys. He's gonna get no hands, then die on the airship, and then get pulled in by one. <laughs> it's very exciting. I always, I always Dude's hope everyone, swag. I always hope everyone gets no hands. So come on, Teeks, get the no hands. Come on, he does some, he does weird movement across the hands. He like gets one and then stops. Oh my gosh, the no hands, dude. His no hands setup is so random, but he gets it, dude. Yeah, he he does the buffer, right? Not but even he, he like do the instant buffer. Well, he like buffers and then waits on hand one and then moves again. I don't know what it is, but he just got yeah, no yeah. hands. He does the uh, he does the hundred percent two four to the castle buffer. That one. That's weird. That is, is so weird. I mean, he he can't knock it for its effectiveness. He's the no hand master. Did Supersonic get Wrangless? Uh. I don't think so. I don't think he got Wrangless. I thought I just saw a boomerang. On Supersonic Stream, he got the rang full. Okay. All right. So he here didn't goes. die in the airship, so he does actually get no hands. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? He's got to get no hands, then no hands again, and then no hands again. Alright, well, he's using the star. He definitely uses the star. Supersonic has not used the star still. He's the no star master. Oh, I thought he was not going to get that P speed. That was incredible. It's hard to beat someone who gets no hands, because you get no hands, there's no difference. There's no lead. There's no advantage. Yeah. Alright, this level always scares me without Hammer Suit because that son, he does not care about your run. And he always seems to not work on the most important runs. Yeah, it's all about this. Oh, you know, see. Ah, the turn back so important to land on that, that last note yep. to get the consistent above strat. Thank goodness. Well, he still has his Fire Flower, the original one, so he will get that reward as well. 
Eight to see it. Oh, I see what you did there, Cobra. That's hilarious. I'm gonna start. Ah, Supersonic getting old. Yo, is Mr. Cab watching right now? Very possible. We, you have been summoned, Mr. Cab. He's uh, he's the controller of the first hand, so. <laughs> yeah. He's got, he's got it. Ah, oh, hand number two. Unfortunate. Will Teeks get sub 54? No. Unfortunately not. I don't even know if... He might get a 55 here, but I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like a high nice 50, 54. a high 54, yeah. Oh my gosh, Supersonic. All three hands, very unfortunate, but it happens. Also gives him 0.5, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, intentionally fighting them? I wonder if there should be a minus 0.5 for all three hands. I don't think so. The only reason I gave 0.5 to no hands is because it feels so good to get it. It, it deserves a point. <laughs> you could get 0.5 if all three pull you in without dying. That'd be fu that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well. Yeah, without dying too, because you could just cheat it. Fuck yep. it. Well, you could just scroll back and... Well, I guess you'd have to do, like, all three hands in one scroll. Because you could just keep going back yep. and forth. The only reason I gave .5 could... to no hands is because it feels so good to get it. It, it deserves a point. <laughs> you could get .5 if all three pull you in without dying. That'd be, fu that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well. Yeah, without dying, too, because you could just cheat it. Fuck yep. it. But well, you could just scroll back and well, I guess you'd have to do like all three hands in one scroll because you could just keep going back yep. and forth. No hands and three hands in the same run. Well, I was I was gonna come up with something where like, um, you fight only one hand by crossing the hand bridge three times. So well, that could be yeah, it. yeah. That, that was something, but I was like, there's no way I could put that. All right, so the last point, if he doesn't lose this, he gets the one point for the original power-up, and he gets the point five if he gets the elevator skip. Let's see. Yeah, all three hands is punishing enough. Agreed. Come on, elevator. Ah, oh, that's... not what you like to see in a race, when your opponent getting no hands and you getting three. Basically, this means you lose. <laughs> Pretty much. But he doesn't know that yet. Yeah, in the terms of the points tournament, it does it doesn't necessarily mean you lose. Exactly. But it does. <laughs> you lose <laughs> on the inside. Dude, I would hate to see Teeks losing this fire flower. He's gonna be really mad if he does. Well, you guys have to remember your get points the slow Bowser. Your to your your points total up, you guys. Your points total up, which means in season two or season three, your points will still be, you know, you they'll all add up and you'll have points to your name. So we got the original power up, first place, uh, 60, and he does not get the 54. 7.5 that game. World 8 clutched hard for him. No deaths. Yep. So as long as Supersonic does not, ooh, he does not get the, the he point did power lose up. It. Yeah. He does not get the point power the up, unfortunately. got him. Yeah, dude, the sun every time. Hopefully he finishes, because if he wants to join Season 2, his points will play a very big role on where he stands uh, in the first bracket. So he's got time to finish. I want to see him finish. I don't know if you guys know, but the 8-2 sun is actually Mitch's favorite. God, the A2 Sun ruins all of every run I've ever had. It always does something. <laughs> Except for my any percent no wrong warp. The Sun's not normally a problem when I finally get no hands. Oh, it still slowed you down in this one. You to, like, <laughs> it always, do I know, changed. right? I lost like 0. 0.2 from like weird P speed loss up the hill. Yo, can we get a nice for Supersonic's coin count though? I mean, yeah. that should honestly be half a point. Nice. 
So, Supersonic is guaranteed second place. Right? He did not use the star. His last chance is 0.5 for the clip and the sub-60. I can't click the sub-60 yet, only because if he dies, he's pretty much got to stop. If, if he died in Bowser's Castle, he'd have no choice but to, like, rush in there and try and get the clip. And then that's it. He'd have to stop. Yeah, there should be a... Yeah, you get one point if you finish every world in your run with 69 coins. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> All right. Come on, this is intense. He needs to get plus points because if he does... He gets this 0.5, he's at 1, then he's at 2, and then he's only minus 0.5 to his name. I want to see him get this clip. Alright, come on, elevator clip. This clip's lame. Ah, oh, come on! That was a good clip, too! Ah, oh, that was a good clip. Goes for the swag clip as well. I respect that. And trying to clip into the Bowser fight. I also respect that. <laughs> he needs it, man. He needs any little thing he can get. Ooh, that head. Oh no. Does he get Not the kill? Like this, dude. Oh no. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Thank oh, goodness. Oh wow. Whew. 360 no scope. So he does get the sub one hour point. It's so 1.5. So he is minus one, right? Or minus 1.5, because he had minus 2.5. Yes, he's yep. minus one. Yep. Alright, so Teeks wins this race with 7.5, giving him a total of, what did, what did he have, 6? 13 and a half. Yeah. Supersonic, second place with 1.5, total of minus 1.5.